is a very important interview because it's not often we get to talk to Florida State Representative Chip Lamarca. He's so busy, but he's taking his time now because he really appreciates what is done at the Economic Engine Performances Report. Uh, and and he, I've read his background, and I'm glad you're doing this, Representative Lamarca, because I haven't known that much about you. You know, people see your name, but they don't know just what a great influence you've had on Broward County. Why don't you tell us uh, when when you were you born there? Actually born in uh, the great state of Massachusetts, but came here when I was three years old. So I finally at 54, consider myself a, a Floridian. Why do you like Broward County so much? Uh, there's so much, there's so many great things here uh, in Broward County and uh, having put so, some of my personal and family time into serving in public office as a county and city commissioner then a county commissioner. Uh, Broward County has, uh, you know, it's a unique place where we have our own seaport airport and Convention and Visitors Bureau right there all together. And really that's kind of the the uh, the hub of our economy. And that's why you know it's so important that we have this great event. Well, I've talked to people about you and they call you Mr. Personality. How'd you get uh, that? <laughs> I got that from my mom. Everything oh. I have, I got from my mom. That's right. I, I love people who love their moms. It says a lot about them. All right, so the Economic Engine Performance Report, why is that really so important? Well, if you know anything about Broward County or Greater Fort Lauderdale, you know that our airport, our seaport, and our Convention and Visitors Bureau is the lifeblood of our economy. And, and, you know, we're diversifying, and that's great. But we always come back to the fact that we're a great tourism destination. We've got beautiful beaches, and uh, our, our CVB does a great job with uh, promoting our, our uh, area to other parts of the state and the country and really the world. And then our airport is one of the fastest growing uh airports in the country and uh, the, the projects going on there are just making making life a lot easier and uh, we came back through COVID quicker really than any other uh, airport certainly in Florida and then uh, I think the you know the, for me the crown jewel of all this is, is uh, Port Everglades and uh, all that kind of happens right there and we've got a great cruise industry a uh, great cargo and freight industry and then uh, obviously we're we provide the energy and fuel to uh, 12 counties in South Florida so uh, what happens at Port Everglades at FLL Airport and uh, Greater Fort Lauderdale CBB really matters for our community and our state. And you've grown a lot. Um, I would, uh, I've would i lived down here for many, many years and Port Everglades was just a place, but now mm -hmm. it's really hopping and popping. Uh, what do you attribute that to? Uh, well, finally, you know, the, I would say the, the, uh, the policymakers, the government and the business, uh, business leaders all coming together uh, one of the things, one of the highlights of the time I spent on the county commission was, you know, my my colleagues. I enjoyed working with them, but we we finally really had a serious conversation about building a convention center hotel, expanding the convention center, and making that part of Port Everglades and the uh, the FLL uh, International Airport there. And you know, we're going to see people coming in and hopefully on a on a uh, circulator rail that goes right to the port and uh, from the airport and people can have conferences and fly in from anywhere in the world. And, you know, so I think the, the growth is certainly uh, based on the business that Port Everglades and FLL do. I want everyone to know I'm talking to Florida State Representative Chip Lamarca and he is very positive, but he's also very active. He doesn't just sit back and let everybody else do it, do, do all these things because, and I don't have time to name all the wonderful organizations that he's been a part of and he remains a part of. Do you have a family? I do have a beautiful wife of almost 27 years. Oh, my. And uh, now we have a uh, 10 and a half month old French bulldog puppy named Rocco. <laughs> well, that's why you have a smile on your face because, you know, they love you. Well, but let's uh, talk a little bit more. I've been interviewing some of your colleagues and everybody is so high on that event. And, you know, I think it's almost sold out. I mean, this is amazing, isn't mm -hmm. it? It's well, as you know, I've been to probably just about every one that, that I can remember back to 2010. And uh, if you really want to know what's going on in the in the in many industries, and we talk about the marine industry being uh, a, a big part of our economy here, we talk about uh, uh, tourism. All that comes together uh, in that at that economic engine uh, update, that luncheon, and we get to hear from our CVB director about tourism. We get to hear about our airport and seaport from our directors there. And we'll get to hear about uh, some transportation issues from uh, the director in charge of that at the county. So it's really a lot of the, whether it's construction projects or development or healthcare, anything that's going on in South Florida is going to feed through those, through those uh, different engines. And that's really kind of pushing our economy forward. I'm glad you mentioned the healthcare because I happen to be on the Broward Health Foundation board. And I know 
what's happened here. And it, uh, it is phenomenal when you have a lot of other counties, of course, but Broward's kind of sitting in the middle of, you know, Miami-Dade and of Homage County, but it's, it's growing. I don't know if the others are growing as fast as you. So congratulations to you, because I know as a representative, you certainly have to um, put a lot of time in to make that all happen. So before I let you go, what would be something that you'd want people to know about Broward County and especially, you know, the port and what you've been so involved in? Well, and, and uh, just to, to follow up, you brought up a great point in Broward Health. We've got, uh, we probably have the best CEO in the in the state and Shane Strum. And now a uh, hometown kid comes home to run the healthcare system. And I think with the economy and, and our healthcare system, those are all working together. And I, I think what I'd leave people with is that the future is bright. Uh, we live in a great place and we have a great uh, economy that's that's uh, moving forward basically because we're all working together to make it move forward. So I want to thank everyone who's been part of that, uh, everything from the contractors and, and engineers who are building these great projects to the tourists that are come here and will come here and use these great resources and and uh, and keep our economy moving forward. So we're uh, really just proud to be from here and just uh, play a very small part in it. Well, even in this short con um, conversation, I know why you're so popular. You're good. <laughs> you're good, Charlie Brown. So thank you very much for taking the time to do this. And uh, and we'll see you at the, at the event. Thank you, Nina. All right, bye. Have a great day.